let's get started. So here's our agenda for today. So first, Cindy will give us a little presentation about her background as the myeloma teacher. I don't know if you follow her on Twitter or not, but uh, she's very famous in the myeloma world. And then I'll go through Health Tree University with you and show you how to use it, how to take quizzes, take notes, participate in discussions, all that stuff. And then we'll answer any other questions you might have. And we'll just go from there. So Cindy, go ahead and take it away. Okay, sounds good. So as Paul said, my name is Cindy Shmoleski, but many of you might know me as the myeloma teacher. And I'm so happy that you were able to come today and join us. Um, before my colleague Paul starts to explain the nitty gritty of what Health Tree University is, I want to tell you a little bit about its backstory. And to do that, I'll start sharing a little bit about my patient journey. I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma in July of 2008. 12 years ago this week, or actually yesterday, was my 12 year cancer anniversary. And at the time of my diagnosis, I was a very passive bystander in my healthcare. See, I was brought up in that age of doctor knows best. So I was just accustomed to blindly following my doctor's orders without asking any questions. Well, luckily for me, I was a fairly healthy individual. So it took almost five decades before this philosophy got me into really big trouble. It was during the summer of 2006 that I started experiencing some back pain. And by that fall of the same year, there were days where my back pain was so debilitating that I really couldn't get myself out of bed. At that time, I was teaching fifth grade. So I would call my colleague, Carol, in those wee hours of the morning, and I would di dictate to Carol um, my lesson plans um, between tears. And Carol suggested that maybe I should go see an orthopedic doctor. So I did. When I arrived at my doctor's office, he did a brief exam. And after that exam, he diagnosed me with degenerative disc disease. And for two years, I was treated with physical therapy and prescription pain medication. But something troubled me about the way he diagnosed me. My doctor made it without doing any imaging of my spine. I wanted to ask my doctor, how do you know I have degenerative disc disease? Do you think it could be anything else? Do you think maybe we should take an x-ray? But regretfully, I decided not to ask those questions because I thought it wasn't my place to question a doctor or to make suggestions. I just listened to what he was saying and I didn't engage in any discussions. Well, let's fast forward two years. My orthopedic doctor finally ordered an x-ray because I went into his office in tears. The x-ray revealed that I had some compression fractures in my spine. So I was scheduled to have that kyphoplasty surgery to repair those fractures. But that surgery never happened because when my pre-surgery blood work came back, it was abnormal. I was referred to a hematologist and the rest became history. I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma on July 8th of 2008. I was stage 3A and my treatment began immediately. But unfortunately, my induction therapy stopped working for me just after three cycles. And back in 2008, the available treatment options were very limited. Many of the therapies that we use to treat multiple myeloma today we're still in clinical trials. And immunotherapy was just a novel idea and never being explored in humans at the time. So my myeloma specialist suggested that probably I should go ahead and have a stem cell transplant. I did, but the stem cell transplant failed to put me into a remission. I was devastated and I thought my days were numbered. But my myeloma specialist was very hopeful. He suggested several treatment options I could try. He gave me the pros and the cons of each treatment path. He told me the risk and benefits of each of the treatments. But ultimately, it was going to be my choice as to which path I would follow. And it was at that moment that I realized if I wanted to make an informed decision, 
I would need to educate myself. Well, being a teacher, I knew that knowledge is empowering, but I never related that concept to my own healthcare. That is, until it was my turn to make a treatment decision and not blindly follow a doctor's orders. As I began the process of learning everything I could about myeloma, all the available tests and the treatments that were available for me so that I could make those informed choices, I also learned something else. I learned that engaged, educated, empowered patients had better outcomes for their given situation. Well, of course, I wanted the best possible outcomes. I wanted to be there to share with my families all those milestones. I wanted to see my daughter graduate from college. I wanted to meet grandchildren. I wanted to retire and travel the world with my husband. So I began learning all that I could. And I also began gathering resources and collecting them in files on my computer. The files were growing bigger and bigger as I was learning more and more. And in time, treatment put my myeloma into what was called a very good partial remission. I was very happy for that, but I was feeling depressed at the same time. I believe that my life no longer had a purpose since I was forced to abruptly retire from my beloved teaching profession when my stem cell transplant failed to put me into a remission. But then one day I had that aha moment. I was sitting back in my recliner, enjoying a cup of coffee and watching the Kathy Lee and Hoda show on TV. They were trying to build their Twitter following, so they asked all their viewers to follow them. I had nothing better to do, so I decided to check out what this thing called Twitter was all about. I set up an account and I began following Kathy Lee and Hoda. But I also noticed that there was a search bar in Twitter. So I decided to put myeloma in the search bar since myeloma was everything I was thinking about at the time. While I hit the jackpot, I discovered that there were many up-to-date tweets that myeloma specialists were sharing with each other. I also connected with a few other myeloma patients that were on Twitter. When I started on Twitter, I was just a lurker, but quickly I realized that I could share what I was learning about myeloma with others using social media. So I decided to use the name Myeloma Teacher since I was a retired fifth grade teacher who had myeloma. I started sharing and people started to follow me and listen to what I was saying. In time, I met Jenny from the Myeloma crowd. We became fast friends and we served on many committees and advisory boards together. It was at one of those meetings that Jenny had this idea of creating an online class for myeloma. She asked me if I would be interested in helping her. I said, of course I would. This will allow me to start teaching again. And this would be the birth of Health Tree University. Together, we developed this idea into a workable project. I became the curriculum director and I felt blessed to be back in my beloved teaching profession. Although now my students were no longer fifth graders. The faculty of Health Tree University are world-renowned myeloma specialists, and they are very willing to share their expertise and record classes since they believe in our vision. And now let's take a few minutes to listen to what Dr. Gertz has to say about being an educated, empowered patient. So what are the benefits of being an educated and empowered patient? I can tell you that people who understand their disease cope so much better with what's going on. They have comprehension of what's going on, why it's going on, what the justification is. Educated patients spot treatment-related side effects before they become severe or permanent and are capable of alerting their physicians. Patients who are well-educated also have a much better understanding of their options and alternatives, and it makes for a much better partnership between the patient and their provider. The treatment selection for patients should not be one way. There should be a discussion of the various options and a well-informed patient is in an outstanding position to partner with their healthcare provider to optimize their outcomes with multiple myeloma. Uh, I, I truly believe that 
educating yourself and empowering yourself with knowledge, you will definitely see the best possible outcomes for your situation. And Health Tree University provides doctors with time in the clinic to discuss important matters related to an individual's care instead of having those doctors having to explain to them the basics about myeloma or what their tests mean. And this is a huge benefit because we know that time in the clinic is often very limited. Patients can educate themselves using Health Tree University curriculum so that they can be engaged partners in their care. And what's important is the entire curriculum is located in just one place, so there's no need to search various sources to find your answers. The Health Tree University curriculum offers everything from myeloma basics to understanding those nuances of genetic testing and precision medicine. The lessons are arranged in a progressive order with quiz, quizzes following each lesson so the learner can check their understanding of the concepts that were presented. There's even an online notebook that you can use as you're sitting in your virtual Health Tree University lecture hall. Now, Health Tree University is a living, evolving curriculum that will be continually expanded and updated. If there is a question you want answered, just let us know, and we will make sure it gets included into the curriculum. And now, after I gave you this background, Paul will share with you how you can access Health Tree University and how you can use it once you're in. So thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much, Cindy. Jenny, do you wanna go ahead and talk about your experience uh, as a patient uh, learning about myeloma as well? Well, I just wanted to weigh in and share how important what Cindy and Paul are doing. Uh, when I was diagnosed, you know, the doctor sees all the damage and says, okay, you need to start treatment on Friday. <laughs> and you're thinking to yourself, treatment on Friday? I have no idea what I'm even doing, or I've never heard of this disease before. So I knew that Cindy was the perfect person to take this on. She is highly educated. She has been a huge myeloma advocate for many years. She knows what's happening in terms of research and she is just the perfect person to, to move forward. So I just want to say kudos to this Health Tree University team because what they have created is truly stunning and nothing like it exists, I don't believe, for any other disease. Thank you. So with that, we'll pass to Paul. All right, well, I'll go ahead and share my screen and I can walk you guys through um, how to use Health Tree University. So once you've created a health tree account, um, even if you haven't put in any of your information, and you can create an account as a, as a patient or as a caregiver, you will scroll down from the top and you'll see you can learn with Health Tree University. Push continue. And here you can see Health Tree University. So, what we've tried to create here is a comprehensive curriculum for myeloma patients getting started building their healthcare team and becoming empowered about their care, um, going through the, the normal treatments the patients usually get and learning about all the essentials that patients need to know about. What we've created is a, is a video library of over 200 videos with many more to come. And you can see here all our faculty. So we have doctors from all the top myeloma research institu institutions, Columbia, Dana-Farber, Fred Hutchinson, um, from John Hopkins, Living Cancer Institute, MD Anderson Cancer Center, Mayo Clinic. And all of these doctors have given us their time so they can help patients answer their, um, their most basic questions that they have. So we really appreciate their help. So from the courses tab right here, you'll be able to see the full list of courses that we have. You can also search through courses. So say I want to learn about um, bone disease. You can type bone disease and you can see a couple of our videos about that topic. To start watching a class, you go, let's say I want to start watching Myeloma Basics Part 1 right from the beginning. You can click on this white space or on this arrow and you can see the full list of individual lectures within each class. You can see whether you completed the video, whether you've completed the quiz, 
the number for the video and what the name of the video is. So we can go ahead and look at what is multiple myeloma by Drs. Landgren and Gertz. You can also see whether you've bookmarked the lesson. So let's say I really like this lecture and want to bookmark it for later. I can click the little bookmark button. And then on the left side here, you can see that you can see your bookmarked lessons. So you click that and there is the bookmark lesson we just bookmarked. What is multiple myeloma? And again, you can unbookmark it and it'll be removed from your list. And you can see there it's, it's unbookmarked. If I wanted to search for that, and again, if I wanted to search for that video specifically, I would type in what is multiple myeloma? And you can see there are actually three videos on that specific question. Now let's click on the first video. So what is multiple myeloma? Multiple myeloma is a... And you get a video by Dr. Landgren and Dr. Gert, Maury Gertz um, talking about what is multiple myeloma. There are nice animations to try and help explain the concepts better. And what we've, what we've tried to create here is a, is, is a bunch of simple explanations from the top doctors in the world um, so you can learn more about your disease. After you're done watching the video, you can scroll down and answer some questions. So my, multiple myeloma is a cancer of the plasma cells. A patient can have more than one subtype, true. Protein producing cells are called, oh, I don't know, osteoclasts, wrong. So you can see it'll tell you um, the right answer if you get it wrong and you can select the right one. Um, if you want to take it again, you can reset your answers. and click finish lesson. If you have any feedback for us, uh, please go ahead and type it in here. You can also email us directly and we'll give you our emails at the, at the very end. We appreciate patient feedback uh, in creating these lessons because there's, there's over 200 videos. It's a lot to manage and we do make mistakes. And then you'll be taken, and then you'll be taken to the next video. So 1.2, what is multiple myeloma by two different doctors. And again, there are quiz questions down below um, also, you can take notes. So let's say you're watching a video and you learn something new about hypercalcemia. So you can click take notes in the right bottom, bottom right corner here. And you can say, and you can like type, type your notes. So hypercalcemia is high levels of calcium in the blood. And then you're, it's automatically saved, so you don't have to do anything else. And if you click take notes, they're saved there. Now, if you wanna, if you've taken a, a bunch of notes on a bunch of different videos, um, what you could do is go to your notebook on the left side here. And you can see all the notes you've taken in each class. So in Myeloma Basics Part One on the multiple myeloma, what is multiple myeloma video? You can see my note I just made um, for that video. And you can actually search through your notes. You can also print your notes to talk. If you want to talk to your doctor about something, that could be a helpful resource. And again, if you want to take notes, it's right there in the bottom right hand corner. And it will be automatically saved and put into your notebook. Another feature of Health University is the library. This is going to be an expanding uh, section, so there's, there's not much here right now, but basically what we want to create is a resource of external sources where you can learn about multiple myeloma. So we've got links to the Myeloma Crowd website as well as Spark Cures where you can learn about clinical trials. Um, we're going to have information about financial resources, information about individual drugs, um, new studies that come out, everything you need to everything, everything you need in terms of resources for you to learn more about your myeloma. If you want to skip around and don't want to go right from the beginning, you could do that. You just click on one of these boxes and you can begin watching the videos in that section. So say I have MGUS and I don't need to learn about uh, starting myeloma treatment. I can just go straight to the precursor conditions section and learn about precursor conditions for multiple myeloma. 
So I think that about covers it. Um, one last thing is that some of these units are still in the, the beta stage, which means we're, we have the videos up so you can start watching and learning, but we're not quite done um, in terms of our content and we haven't added very many gra graphics or animations um, and we haven't really whittled it down to the essentials of what needs to be in that class. So it'll say this video is under construction, bear with us. And if you have any suggestions when you click finish lesson, you can give us feedback on that video. And I think that about covers it in terms of how to use Health Tree University. You wanna talk about the points too? The oh yeah, of course. So as you finish a quiz, so you'll see here, I finished one quiz and it says three out of three. In the top left corner here, you'll see that you can redeem your points. And, you ha and I have three points here because I finished one quiz. If I finish two quizzes, that'll give me five points and it'll say five up here. Um, what we're going to be doing is creating a store for you to redeem your points. So you, you earn rewards based on how many videos and quizzes you finish. And then you'll be able to redeem those points for things like travel benefits to, if you want to go to Ash, you'll get discounted flight tickets or something. Um, or you get a free ticket to a Myeloma Crowd Roundtable event. You can get t-shirts and hats. And that's actually one of the events we're going to be doing. The first 50 people to get more than 200 points are going to get a free t-shirt, hat, and notebook from the Myeloma Crowd with, with that are branded with Health Tree University. So that's a, it's, I think it's about four of these classes. So if you do Myeloma Basics Part 1, 2, and 3, and maybe building your healthcare team and transplant, then you should get enough points to qualify for the, the free swag. That's kind of a little fun thing we're doing to launch Health Tree University. A back to school event. <clears throat> a back to school event, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I just wanted to um, reiterate that this is just the beginning part of the courses. There are a lot more courses being planned. We're adding um, courses, but we, we, we thought it was important not to wait until everything was complete because we have so much good information and we didn't want to sit on this good information because we weren't done. So that's why we launched it, even though we're still developing new courses, we're still developing our store, we're still adding graphics, because what we think is there is still very valuable to the patients. And I wouldn't want someone who's newly diagnosed with myeloma tomorrow have to wait to get information because we didn't put together our store yet. So I just wanted to add that. Yeah. So thank you everyone for joining us in the early phases of Health Tree University. You're, you're part of something that's new and exciting. And I guess we have some questions there. Yeah. Uh, we have a comment from Stacy Kahn. I just want to say that I have done several of these lessons and they're done really well. I especially love the animations, charts, et cetera, et cetera which have really helped me understand this disease. Thank you for all you guys do. Well, thank you, uh, Stacy. We're working really hard to try and make these as good as we can. Are there other questions up there? Yeah. Can you save graphics from a video in your notebook? Um, you cannot, but if you want to take a screenshot of a video, you can do that. If you're on a Mac, it's uh, command shift four. So I'll show you how you do that. My Loma. Let's say you want to take a screenshot of, of that uh, graphic, you can command shift four. And, and that'll show up on your desktop. If you're on a PC, you'd hit um, the Windows button and the print screen button, and it'll take a picture of your whole screen and save it in your pictures. One patient wants to know how many points to get a Ferrari. <laughs> I think that's a price for much later. Uh, can you print to a file or only to the printer? So you're able to print to both, I think. So you just go notebook, print all notes. And then you download a PDF and then you can either just have the PDF or you can print that PDF. So there's your answer. Uh, do you have to do all of them or can you pick and choose which ones you want to do? You can pick and choose. You don't have to do all of them. You could do them more than once and you could 
skip around. Do you have information for geriatric care for multiple myeloma? We are developing a whole unit on side effects management and hopefully in that unit, we also will be talking about palliative and geriatric care. So we currently do not have that, but that's a great addition that I'm gonna add right now to our lessons. And we do have videos scattered around that get into that a little bit. There's some stuff in the bone disease section. Uh, there's one video about physical therapy. Yeah, there's stuff in the transplant section and there's stuff, of, and there's stuff about palliative and hospice care as well in the section about building your healthcare team. So there's a little bit of stuff about that scattered all over. Steve has a question about how researchers can access data. And I'm assuming Steve, that's a question in HealthTree in general. Um, just so you're aware, we are building a researcher portal and um, there's significant reporting that's available in HealthTree today that patients can see. And um, the ultimate, what we wanna provide the research community is to be able to run uh, reports for free on the anonymized information, like show me all smoldering myeloma patients who tried daratumumab and what was their outcome. I mean, that's the, the level of research that we would like to provide to the academic researchers. So that's the answer on Steve's question. Um, Ross asked, can you please clarify the difference between the myeloma crowd and the myeloma university and what is the university website? Um, well, the myeloma crowd is, is the foundation and my health tree university is one of the projects that the myeloma crowd is working on and you can access health tree university through healthtree.org or right now, um, you could go to YouTube and go to um, Health Tree University videos on YouTube and watch the videos there. Unfortunately, on YouTube, they're not as organized as in, in lessons as they are in Health Tree, but you can search the content there. And we have plans to make it as an open access course too. So Paul, did I get that right? Yep. So pretty soon you'll just be able to go to university.healthtree.org without an account in HealthTree and watch all the videos. Um, the thing is that you won't be able to earn points if you don't have an account. So if you want that t-shirt or you want tickets to a Myeloma Crowd event, you'll need to um, log in so you, you can save all your points as you're watching videos. And also you won't be able to bookmark lessons and take notes. Is that correct? Right. You won't be able to take notes. You won't be able to bookmark lessons. You won't be able to save uh, things that you've watched. So you won't have a sense of progress, I guess, in the courses. It's preferable um, if you create a health free account, even if you're just a uh, caregiver. And Dolores asked, if I live in Canada, can I be part of this? Of course you could be part of it. The only tricky thing would be is when the doctors are explaining available therapies for induction therapy or relapsed refractory myeloma, they're basically talking about the therapies that are approved in the United States. So that may be a little tricky, but the basic content videos definitely you can be part of. Thank you for that question. We have another question. Uh, what do you have concerning physical activity like yoga, cycling or running and better outcomes? Uh, we do have one video about exercise, I think. So you just type in exercise in that top search bar and you can see there's a video in unit 10. I think this is a unit about bone disease and it's talking about uh, other things patients can do to help with bone pain. There's a doctor named Dr. Jens Hillengas who talks about a study he's doing with patients to talk about physical activity. And William, that study is actually inside of HealthTree. So if you are a member of HealthTree, you can go in and share your answers with him in that study, because what he wants, what he's trying to determine is how um, does exercise impact myeloma patients in terms of bone pain and also just longevity and um, emotional outcomes. And so I think we've had over 550 people respond to that survey, but the more answers he gets, the more data he can put behind it because he wants to talk to his patients and say, look, exercise is really helpful 
for people, but he wants to have data um, to back that up. Right. And we also have um, a, couple, a couple of the units on, a couple of the lessons in the bone disease unit talks about exercise, not only this Dr. Hillengoss, but I, I know some of the other doctors talk about the importance of it. And also we are, we're um, producing some with a physical therapist talking about how important maybe physical therapy might be to just get started back in, in, in using your body effectively when you have myeloma. Yep. So if you say you wanted to search for physical therapy and you wanted to search for exercise, we have a couple videos on that. You can just bookmark those. And then if you go to bookmark lessons, those two videos will be there for ready for you to watch. But these are excellent questions. So uh, keep them coming because now we have more and more information that we could be asking our specialist to, um, for their opinions on. And, and th that's also something that's important. Sometimes when we're doing videos, there's, there are some controversial topics that not everyone agrees on. And when we come across that, what we like to do is get, a, get um, myeloma specialists that view things differently and record them on the same video so that you could watch and make a choice of what path you need to follow. Because as we know, in multiple myeloma, not everything is black and white. Not everyone agrees on things. So that's the value of educating yourself so that you can start deciding which way, which path would you like to follow. Steve also has said, um, I, we attended, we, when we did our 50 city tour, we came to his group in Florida um, and he's, um, he's just inviting us to his support group. So we would love to come, Steve. Um, we just did that for the support group in Seattle and um, are, are willing to present Health Tree and Health Tree University to any support groups that would like to do that uh, virtually during COVID and in person <laughs> when we're all through this crazy crisis. In our units on side effects, we are going to talk about specific side effects like lung issues and how to deal with them, kidney issues and how to deal with them, heart issues, so we're developing them. So yes, we're trying to zero in because um, Tammy asked, wants to know if there's going to be things on lung. And, and we are going in, in our building your healthcare team unit. We are also talking not only to myeloma specialists and healthcare provide other healthcare providers, we're also going to be talking to nutritionists and other people that you may want to include on your team, a mental health coach. So Yes, we just have so much to do. <laughs> I know, and there's a unit that they're building currently about know your therapy. So Tammy also asked about Revlimid um, specific drugs. So we're, we're having investigators talk about specific therapies, how they're used, when they might be considered, um, what the side effects might be, how do you manage those? And those will be um, built shortly, so yes. And to answer Sarah's question, you can share videos through YouTube. So if you go to YouTube and type in Health Tree University, all the videos that we have published are there and you could share them easily that way. Yeah, if you, if you, if you click on one of these videos inside of Health Tree, you can, you can click on that little YouTube button and you can see our channel down here. Right. And we have all the videos on our channel. It's just that they're not organized in a way that makes sense to you as a patient because we just come out with things as we come out with them. So they're, they're not organized by topic here, but if you wanna search through them that way and watch them that way, you can. To answer Frank's question also, he said, are there lessons for the high risk patient that goes beyond um, how it leads to a poor prognosis? Yes, we have a unit on myeloma genetics and we'll continue to do that because myeloma is being treated um, in a lot more sophisticated ways, I would say, since I was first diagnosed. So the researchers are trying to identify who can benefit from which therapy and particularly high-risk patients. That was a big focus for the myeloma crowd when we first got started. We wanted to make sure that high-risk patients are getting better outcomes. 
Um, we have a comment from Mariana. I'm a very new coach. In my opinion, I wish I could have seen this first. I really understand how the site works now. Thank you. Can I direct anyone who is a patient but not signed up with a coach to watch the videos? Yes, I think that would be a great way for people to get started. And for anyone watching that doesn't have a coach, we have a program at the Myeloma Crowd called Myeloma Coach. When we did that 50 city tour, we realized that there were a lot of patients that just needed side-by-side -side help um, that needed to be kind of walked through where to access the resources because there are a lot of resources available in multiple myeloma. Um, they just, it, sometimes it's hard to know where to go for which resource. So that's what our myeloma coaches do. We have a website called mylomacoach.org that you can find. There are also links to it from the Myeloma Crowd website um, that you can find. And we have over a hundred, I think we have 125 coaches right now who are going through this Health Tree University education. So they make sure that they understand myeloma. And their, their role is not necessarily to be your doctor, um, but it's to help you access appropriate resources and just to help you and encourage you and we would really encourage you if you're struggling in any way um, to reach out to a coach and sign up for that program. Uh, we'll have a new website soon that will have a single sign on as well. So like if you already have a health tree account, you'll be able to see it a little bit more seamlessly than it is right now. And um, the coaches are ready and waiting. We also have a financial coach who is really amazing. So if you have financial issues or concerns, um, Diana Valentine is a great financial myeloma coach, but we have a lot of coaches who are patients themselves or caregivers and really and willing to help you at any time. I've been trying to promote Health Tree University among UK patients and healthcare teams. How do you suggest this is best done? Um, we have brochures that you can take to the facility. Um, we have those for uh, coaches or for all our programs. So um, what we found we sent an email out to the top myeloma specialists. There are about 200 of them in, in North America, I would say, or at least the United States and Canada. And we asked them, would you like to participate on Health Tree University? And I've never had this happen before, but uh, the majority of them got back to me within 24 hours saying, absolutely, we would love to help. So the physicians are very excited to, to share that. If you would like to share brochures with them um, and you wanna provide us with your address and you wanna take them to the clinic, um, you can do that as well. So just, uh, you can send an email to info at crowdcare.org and send us that information. We'd be happy to pass that along to the particular doctor um, or to you to take to the doctor. Um, someone asks, Steve asks, if we will have a specialist finder incorporated into this. Uh, I know there's a specialist finder in Health Tree itself. Um, probably we could add that same finder right into our library, the same way with the support group finder. We will put that probably right into our library. Why don't you click on that, Paul? Yes, you can see here, um, if, you, if you're in Health Tree, if you scroll down to Get Myeloma Help, and you can click Find a Myeloma Expert. And you can see a full list of every single myeloma um, specialist by region and facility. And you can also search, um, you can also see their, their name and information, how many patients they treat, how long they've treated it. So there, yes, in Health Tree, there is a specialist finder. And in Health Tree University, we will be linking in the future. If a class featured a particular doctor and you want to communicate with that doctor or learn more about that doctor, uh, we'll have links for each of those doctors in each of the classes. That is feedback that we heard that we would like to add. Yeah, so that, they're all, all going to be linked up pretty soon. So as you see, this is an evolving project, but we thought we had just way too much good information to wait to release it. So there's going to be new th features, new classes, new lessons every single day. And Harvey had a question about if there are any coaches in Toronto or Canada. And I will, uh, Harvey, if you want to email me, I will check for you and check with our Myeloma Coach Director so that you can send an email to info at crowdcare.org.
those are some of our emails if you want to talk to us. Okay, Paul had a question who was joining from Brazil and, and it was uh, mostly about high risk smoldering. Um, and the difference between patients uh, or saying it, you know, hold, watch and wait or um, go ahead and start treating. Smoldering myeloma is a evolving field for the doctors and that's unique to patients. So there will be classes about smoldering myeloma inside of this because that's a huge issue for smoldering myeloma patients. So see this, we have a class, should go back to that, Paul. Um, should high risk smoldering myeloma be treated? Um, that's a good question. And you can find uh, what the doctors have to say in that class. Yes, yeah, so we have a whole unit on precursor conditions and we have some of the top experts in the world, including Dr. Irene Gabriel, who are experts on these precursor conditions talking about these very things, so. Mm -hmm. That's what we tried to do when we interviewed doctors. If we knew there was a doctor who really had the specific focus, that was the doctor we interviewed for that topic. So we knew that precursors, there were a few people who were really interested in that area. So they're the people we reached out to. Mm -hmm. uh, William had a question about anxiety around a myeloma diagnosis and um, meditation and relaxation techniques. We need a class on that, William. So yes, we would love to have a class on that and we will find an expert and um, work on that. So because the emotional aspects sometimes are just as important as the physical aspects of having myeloma. So that's a great suggestion and we've got it noted. Yes, I, I, I was envisioning that as part of building your team because I think you know someone on your team will help with that too, so. Mm -hmm. We have a question from Mary. Will this video be recorded and available later? Uh, yes, Mary, you should be able to watch this webinar again um, using the same link. And we'll also be posting it to the Myeloma Crowd site in a week or two. Nobody has said it here today. Many thanks to you and Dr. and Dr. Shaw from Cario Farm for the masks. The Myeloma Crowd, if you're not aware of this, the Myeloma Crowd received a donation of masks from Cario Farm. Uh, we still have masks available. If you joined Health Tree and you've included just your diagnosis and your address, oh, there's some of the boxes. <laughs> you, can here, you can see here in my corner, uh, here's all the masks we have. Each, in each of these, uh, each of these white boxes are filled with packs of uh, five medical grade masks. So if you are a Health Tree user and have a Health Tree account, you should, um, and we have your address, we can send you masks. And, and that's all that's required. You don't have to enter any other data. We pull a list regularly to um, find the, the mailing list for the masks, so. And then Alistair, um, Gail asked, is it possible to get another set? We'll see, Gail, we're, we're uh, mailing out to our full list first. And then probably, yes. So we hope so. Um, Alistair okay. also asked, and Cindy mentioned stem cell transplant that didn't work. Is there a class covering this issue? Uh, we Not do have that there will be. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks yeah. for the suggestion. <laughs> we do have classes on relapse and refractory myeloma, and we have classes about transplant. Some of those things might be covered in those units. Um, kind of hard to say off the top of my head. Steve wants to know if you if, if we will have a support group finder. That's a good question. Well, we haven't considered that, Steve. So thanks. We'll we'll put it under consideration. Probably uh, in our library. Any other questions you want answered? I'm writing my list right now. So Gail has a good comment. Let me address this. Um, Gail, right now we are working on exactly what you had in mind. Um, we have um, my Loma Crowd community forums in the works. Um, it's in beta right now, so we're testing it with our myeloma coaches. Those will include categories of topics and then topics within each category. And those will also be linked to Health Tree University. So for example, at the end of a class, um, you'd be able to, like let's say the class is about stem cell transplant and you wanna join that forum and comment and chat with one another uh, that will be there shortly, I would say within the month. Two weeks ago, we sent out a letter to 
all the myeloma specialists that we know asking if they would be willing to record more videos or do their first video and the response is overwhelming. So keep those questions coming. Um, the only difficulty we're having now is we have to wait until some of the um, institutions are opened back up to the public because of um, some of the COVID restrictions. We can't send a videographer in to do some of the recording, but soon that will change. And so just keep your questions coming because we have lots of people who are willing to answer them and help us become the most educated people that we can be. And I think Debbie has a final question. Is there someone at Health Tree University that we can talk to instead of emailing regarding what Health Tree can offer us? Um, yes, we have inside of Health Tree. Paul, if you want to share your screen and just go to Health Tree. There is an online chat um, button and you can make a request there to have someone call you. And in bottom right. Oh, it's the bottom right. And you can make a request to have someone give you a call and we're happy to give you a call anytime and just talk over the phone. We do that regularly with, with everyone, Health Tree University and Health Tree. And we're happy to talk to anybody at any time. Okay, so there was one question we didn't get to before we cut off the stream and that was about sponsorship. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and answer that after the fact and I'll put it in the video. Every single video is sponsored by Bristol Myers Squibb, Amgen, GSK, Takeda, Sanofi, Genzyme, uh, Janssen Oncology, Adaptive, and Genentech. We're super grateful for their participation. Let me tell you what they do and don't do. So thanks to our sponsors, we're able to support the entire program. So that includes salaries, video editing uh, equipment, and video recording equipment, uh, the videographers, the editors, curriculum planning, and the travel involved. All of that's supported by our sponsors. So we're, we're super grateful for that. We couldn't do it without them. Um, they don't have any role whatsoever in the creation process for the curriculum, and I think that's, I think pretty sure that's a legal thing, and we wouldn't want it that way anyway. So Cindy plans the curriculum, she's the myeloma teacher, and then I and her will go to conferences, and I guess during COVID, we'll do remote interviews uh, to record doctors answering these basic questions that patients have, and then we'll go, and my job is to do all the editing on, this, on the back end, and pass it back to Cindy. She makes recommendations about graphics to add, and, and then we edit it and add all the graphics, and then we put the videos on the site. So at no point in the process do the sponsors really participate. And yep, that's that answer that, to that question. Any, any other last thoughts, questions before we sign off? Well, if you do, you, you have our email, Cindy, Paul, or Jenny at the myelomacrowd.org and we'll be more than happy to um, answer them. Yeah, with that, thank you so much for participating in the webinar today. And thank you, Cindy and Paul for um, building this amazing tool and you'll see it change and get better over time. And we're super excited to share it with you. So thanks again, everybody for joining us today. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye everybody.